Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are going to be doing a little upgrade video on a server down here it's a Lenovo X3550 model 4 in that server it's possible to install a 10G network card this is um, kind of like a daughter board or a Maseline card which um, goes onto the motherboard and it's a special card it does not take up a PCI Express port which there is only two of in this server so to um, get the most out of this server I have gone ahead and purchased one of these I'm actually not sure if it was new or if it was used the packaging was brand new had never been opened so we could just go see that these are available in different versions if you want to know which cards go into this model of server I would highly recommend going over at Lenovo Press and um, I'll just type in the model number of the server and then Lenovo Press and they have a really nice document which also notes which network cards would fit really well in the server and these network cards they have special blocks and stuff so you can't just go out and buy anything there's a couple of vendors that is um, that you can buy for this there's like Intel and Broadcom and well stuff like that that you can get for these servers and they look very similar so um, let's go check this out well in a video not long ago I exchanged a battery in my old UPS and just to make a little update they are still going on strong so I'm gonna be powering that down and taking that out of here that was just a tiny update here is the box and this one has the product ID 44T 11360 and it's an NT Extreme 210 blah 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 miscellane adapter manufactured by Lenovo let's see what's in the package uh, funny enough it's uh, IBM's uh, tape that is on here so it must be have been just around when they uh, swapped over 2015 14th of June cool so inside the box we have we have some manual stuff here plastic there's even a CD with some drivers um, net extreme Broadcom I think this is yeah Broadcom warranty and license information note um, something about what was in the package or what should be in the package and then we have the car I have had this out so here is the card so let's see this as you can see there is no PCI Express uh, port to uh, to plug in they have been moved up here to a funny little connector right there and otherwise it looks like it's a really normal network card except that it doesn't have those lanes and the manual for how to install it is right here on the back this is a 2 10 gigabit ethernet card funny enough most of these cards that you can buy to put internally in the server is always two ports they don't really make one with just one port other other cards are available you can also get 1g ports and i think maybe also infiniband 40 gigabit ports are available so let's try and um, install this in the server so down here is the server where i am putting in this card the lenovo x3550 model 4 and i have uh, unplugged all cables on the back of it so it should slide out very nicely and hang out here in midair so let's open up the server and see how easy this is to install now this being a 1U server there is not a lot of space to um, to play with in here but the card goes underneath this riser card so we will unplug this and 
and put this out of the way and then we have to put it in over here it um, it sits upside down like this but to, to put it in we need to remove this little metal thing on the back here which has a tiny little blue finger screw so I am untying that luckily that was loose enough for me to remove there and this little metal bracket comes off like that and that looks very similar to the metal bracket on the card so that's cool so the network card just pops in like this I think we need to go closer here okay there is a little metal thing here that that goes in this little eye here so putting it in I'm making sure that this metal thing fits in there there's a blue thing here where the board is supposed to be sitting on on this side and another blue thing here which will make sure that it doesn't dip down in a weird way so um, let's try and put this in first a little eye over there and then down here that's in and then I have to push in the connector uh, the card has two screws here kind of finger screws but oh okay the the directions here says that I'm supposed to put in the bracket back here first and tighten the finger screw we're gonna try that that works then I wanna to tighten the finger screw three use a screwdriver on those hmm just happened to have a screwdriver This blue thing is not in right there. There we are. It sits very nice right now. So I'll tighten these or make sure that they are tight. There. Make sure that the connector is down good. So now that is mounted and it does not take up any height at all because right here next to it is a heat sink and that's actually as high as this card. So this card is not taking up any height at all in the server. There is still room for a expander card in the slot right next to it, which I am probably gonna be using also. So that's cool. Now put the server back together. So around the back here I have plugged in power to the server and also given it uh, network connections on the IMM adapter and the first network port. This is the 1 gigabit. Uh, this server has 4 1 gigabit ports. 1, 2, 3, 4 1 gigabit. And now it has the 2 10 gigabit ports over here. And it, it needs some, um, what is this, SFP pluses to work with that. And these are the modules that you plug in and you can get different ones uh, depending on what your needs are. Uh, I just need this to go like inside of the data center here so it's well probably not more than three meters so you can get the really cheap ones but I do believe that you can get these that can go many kilometers and the price just goes up so you take those and you plop those in and they have like a click and then it's in place I'm probably just gonna be using one connection in this server but I might as well put in two of these um, otherwise they'll just be sitting on the shelf so they are connected right there so let's go see if the server sees anything we have something here that's not good okay around the front we can see that there's an alert on the server and um, dropout says that it's a power supply I've had that issue before so I'll go fix that so here in the IMM on the machine we can also see that there is a critical power module I have fixed it so I'm pretty sure that if we click here everything is normal if we go up here and check 
everything is normal it just hadn't refreshed so so everything is good and green again so let's go in here and server management and server properties and hardware information and over here we have a hardware network and right now it does not see that network card in there that we just put in there so I think that maybe we have to turn on the server before that is actually noted that there is a new car so we'll go back and we'll try and turn on this server from in here power action turn on the server immediately go go gadget server is powered on I can hear it the fans booting up out there so and it's now saying that it's a system on and starting new Wi-Fi. unfortunately I don't really have the, the management the, the advanced feature code for doing a remote control of this server um, I still need to um, to acquire one of those over here on, under the hardware activity lock or what you call it we have been discovered we have put in a Maslin card and it's this serial number and it's a Broadcom and it has been added and the date is right there hmm in the meantime it's now complaining about a cooler not um, redundancy lost for fan zone number two that has nothing to do with the network I hope they don't pop up in here that's odd okay I actually fixed the issue the issue was that when you put in a Maslin card like this it apparently wants more fan blowers you might have seen that there was a couple of fan blowers missing in the server when we had the lid off um, I just happened to have bought those two fans because I was gonna upgrade the CPU as well the CPU is at the post office right now I need to pick that up in the coming week but I had bought the fan blowers I still need the heatsink for the second one but details but I had the fans so the solution was to pop in the two fans that was missing so now the server has the, enough cooling to also cool that car I didn't know that so I made a separate video on this you will get that as probably the next one but it's gonna be very short because I don't know why but I actually had an idea that that might be what was going on why the fans suddenly was acting up because these fans really looked pretty new so they didn't look like they um, were about to fail and as I say in the other video I've never seen a fan fail in a Lenovo server you might have seen a lot of fan failing I have never seen one so also why I like these servers so much but unfortunately um, the server does not really show the, the my new network cards in here if I go into server properties and hardware information here it's thinking about that and it will pop up a lot of good stuff right there but if we go over here and check it sees the it sees the card that we popped in there but hardware information and network it does not pop up as two new network cards I would have liked that that would have been nice to see those down there Messaline card and host network adapter Mac blah 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 that would have been nice so this video is part of a series of making this awesome Lenovo X3550 Model 4 into a storage server for all the storage that is down here there is a total of right now there is 62.5 terabytes of storage down there it's my main thought that that server is gonna be the controller of that and that's why I want some 10 gigabit ethernet ports in there and I am also gonna go hunting for a new switch that supports that because right now I only have those two ports and yeah it's need more right this was a rather simple video just popping in that car hmm <clears throat> turned out to be a two video thing because I thought the fan era was something completely different so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again um, playing along with this upgrading have a nice day bye bye